All right, so we've got Jamie Sedlowski here, two-time World Long Drive champion. Last time he was here in the lab was March 2010, so 14 years ago. So anytime I'm comparing 3D from a previous session to now, I'm gonna bring the two up side by side and just look for any major changes. I'm looking to see do the shapes look similar. The blue on here is pelvic side bend. Looks like almost nine, 10 degrees of more right side bend now. So right hip's getting a little bit higher than it was before, but before he didn't have a lot. So a little more right side bend there in the pelvis. That's the first thing. Not saying it's a big deal, just looking. Um, pelvis, let's see, look at rotation, thrust and lift, see if there's any differences here. Looks like he's early extending a little bit more now. So hold on, that's a significant thing. Let me go to impact here. Yeah, it looks like he's doubled the amount of early extension. So he's moved twice as closer to the ball at impact. Usually creating space is a great thing. So if you're moving towards the ball, I, I don't like that either. If you liked what he was doing before, maybe a little more ground reaction force pushing away. Um, now let's go look at the trunk real quick. Side bend, flexion, rotation. Here's the huge difference here. So you can see this pretty clear here. If I, if I look at the thorax here, this is 2010. Here's the zero line, right? The zero line. Notice this blue line goes up. That's thoracic lift. That's like a sensor in the middle of his rib cage. As it goes up, he stands up. And you can see in the backswing, it goes up to about two and a half inches, and then it comes back down. Now, if you look at the current one, you can see there's not much rise at all. It just kind of stays level, right? In the backswing before, he would stand up, almost like losing posture, but a lot of big long drive players do that. They help get more distance, more width in their golf swing. He's now kind of turned more into a standard golfer. He's staying down, maintaining posture a little more. That's a big deal. A lot of uh, long drivers try and create that lift. There's thrust differences too. So he used to lift up and trunk would move back. Now he's staying down, the trunk moves forward. The green line actually went down, which means he's standing up or moving farther away from the ball. He's moving back away from the ball, where now he's actually moving forward. That's, he's going forward towards the ball versus before he'd stand up and move away from the ball. Big differences here in the trunk. That's something I think we need to experiment with. So trunk movement, he used to stand up, get the arms a little bit higher away, stay a little more level in the pelvis. Now he's staying down, moving forward, right hips going up. You know, that might be better for maintaining consistent contact and accuracy. But for power, that's definitely gonna reduce the amount of power. His separation between upper body and lower body. Top of the back swing, he got to 52 maximum before 45. So he's actually lost a little separation too. So I think you can see, I think he kind of dialed things in to become more accurate. Um, but before, a little more loss of posture, a little bit more separation, torque going on. I think those are a couple of things that we could try to try and get some more speed back to where he was before.